What is up, everybody? Jay Dell here with my UFC fight night. I believe it's 64 in Poland. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, slash Bellator 136 recap video. I'm going to talk about the co-main events and the main events. Let's get into it. First up, UFC in Poland. It was a nice balanced event. Uh, it wasn't the best. wasn't the worst. Uh, the co-main event, we saw Jimmy Manawa take on Jan Blackowitz. And okay, so I'm going to be honest. I was watching this in my own home. And when I'm watching a fight in my own home and it doesn't have all of my attention, I start to do other things. <laughs> So I started sewing. <laughs> I was half paying attention to this fight. Every time I looked up, it was Jimmy Manoa with him up against the fence. N dirty boxing, I guess. Not mounting much of an offense at all. There was many times where I was screaming at the ref to break this up. There were moments where I thought they were barely moving at all up against the fence. Okay. He won. Unanimous decision. Two of the refs gave, or two of the judges gave him all three rounds. I agree. I believe he's ranked number 10, I believe. He's calling for a top 10 ranked opponent. I don't know. You let me know who you think he should fight next. He said he was injured about two months prior to this fight. Let me know what that injury is. I don't know what it is. So what's Jimmy Manoa's injury and who do you think he should fight next? Now, main event. And we saw Gabriel Gonzaga versus Mirko Krokop 2. Gabriel got the KO in the last fight. Mirko returned the favor in this one. The first two rounds were pretty good, actually. Back and forth action. They were both landing shots. It was actually pretty close. Gabriel got some takedowns. And I actually think you could have given the first round or two to Gabriel. Second or third round comes up. This The beginning of the end started in the dirty boxing position. Gabriel actually had Krokop up against the fence. Gabriel was in the dominant position. Krokop landed a short elbow from the inside, which landed clean. Dropped him a little bit, halfway. He didn't actually fall. He was still standing. Still trying to hold him against this, the fence and hide his head. Krokop landed a couple more shots, some short uppercups from the inside that landed hard, man. He can generate some serious power still in close range at his age. Backed him up, got him on the ground, KO. Good win for him. Like I said, he returned that favor. He said he believes that the book is closed on that. Let me know what you think. Let me know any injury updates. Let me know who you think Mirko should fight next and what he has left. I, I'm not sure how old he is. I'm pretty sure he's over 35. I want to say 37, 38. Let me know how old Mirko Krokop is and what you think he has left. How far you think he could go? Heavyweight division, talk to me. Let me know. Now, on to Bellator 136. In the co-main event, we saw Rafael Cavallo get the, uh, I believe it was the split decision. Yes, yeah, split decision victory over Joe Schilling. And I totally agree. First, let me know if I'm clear. I'm not sure if I'm clear on that split decision victory but he did get the victory over joe Schilling in the co-main event and the first round was kind of it was close they were both very cautious wasn't too active so that first round was very close i think you could have given it to joe Schilling. the second rounds the second and third were clear and clearly in favor of cavallo he was able to just implement his game plan and really out wrestle him get him down on the ground some ground and pound hold position he didn't finish him but he definitely won those last two rounds so it was a good win for him who do you think Rafael Cavallo should fight next? Now, on to the main event. And this is one of my guys to watch, the Bellator lightweight champion, Will Brooks, taking on Dave Jansen. And this was a good fight, man. It went all five rounds, unanimous decision in favor of Will Brooks. Um, all three judges, I believe, scored it 49-46. They gave that first round to Dave. And I, I agree, Dave came out real aggressive, more aggressive than usual. Uh, more diversity in his striking than usual. He had some knees, some punches to the outside knee that were really interesting that I really, really wanted Will to block because he was hitting that kneecap and it just made me nervous. That, it made me nervous. <laughs> so there was a lot of things I believe that Will was kind of letting him get away with. The next four rounds were all Will Brooks. As soon as he found space, again, like I've always said about Will Brooks, he is so dynamic in space. He's so creative with his striking and he hits hard and he's really accurate and he mixes it up with kicks and knees. He was landing great knees throughout this entire fight. I think the knees is what really started to slow Dave Jansen down. They were landing hard and harder and better than Dave. There was a lot of dirty boxing in this fight and the dirty boxing was kind of even, went either way. They were trading it. Dave would get the better of it for a few minutes. Will would reverse the position and get the better of it for a few minutes. So it was kind of even, but in space... It was clear. Will opened him up, had him bleeding. There were moments where I was like, you can finish him on the feet. Stop dirty boxing with him. After the fight, he said, you know, he likes, um, he wanted to beat him up. He wasn't looking for the finish. I'd say that's one of your weaknesses, Will. If the finish is there, take it. Don't let anyone hang around longer than, you, than they have to. You never know. This is MMA. Underdogs win all the time. People who you, who've been getting their butts whooped the whole fight come back and win in the fifth round all the time. 
So I think that's a knock on Will Brooks. If you see the win, take the win. And he's so dynamic in space. Don't waste your time fighting in close quarters if you don't have to. He spent time in the dirty boxing by choice when he was just picking him apart in space. So I don't, I don't like that, man. Go where you, you go where you know, go where you're the best, go where you're better. You know, work on all your skills, be well-rounded, of course, but don't volunteer to fight that, the other man's game. I don't like that decision. So Will Brooks is still one of my ones to watch. He's only getting better. He's crazy good in space. Let me know any injury updates. Let me know who you think he should fight next and uh, talk to me. Let me know about both events. <laughs> Take care and goodbye.